The 52nd playing of the Sugar Bowl Classic in New Orleans. Played since 1975 in the Louisiana Superdome, matching Miami and Tennessee. The first time ever in the Sugar Bowl for the Miami football team. It is the sixth time for Tennessee in this game. The first since 1971. The reason for that, this is the first Southeastern Conference Championship for Tennessee in 16 years. And championship is very much a matter of contention on this final day of the 1985 football season. And this is why Penn State undefeated 11-0, playing Oklahoma tonight in Miami. Miami here in New Orleans with a record of 10-1. And, and it appears that Iowa is out of championship hunt as they trail by 21 in the Rose Bowl to UCLA. Miami will kick off and Tennessee will receive it. And going deep for the Volunteers will be Jeff Powell, number 21, who is the Walter Mitty story of all stories in 1985. Mark Selig will kick it off for the white-shirted Hurricanes, and number 52 in the Sugar Bowl is underway. Powell deep in the end zone will not show us his flashing speed. It'll come out to the 20. And carrying on the motif, the theme of New Orleans, if you will, Daryl Dickey, a fifth-year senior at quarterback. There's a look at Jeff Powell. He is a senior, 170-pounder, and Jim Miller at fullback, 230 pounds. Tim McGee, the All-American wide receiver from Cleveland, 180. Eric Swanson, tough as a door, and up in Tennessee, starts out with three wide outs. You'll see that a lot, I think, tonight. Daryl Dickey looks over the Miami defense and comes up throwing. Whips it over to Swanson. Swanson is up around the 25. The Volunteers, Smith, the tight end, 6'3", 235. Daryl Smith, the tackle, 255. Harry Galbraith, the guard, 260. Todd Kirk, the center, at 255. Bruce Wilkerson, a lot of people liked him for All-American, 260. And David Douglas, 265. Two big tackles for Miami can be records. Bouncing around, pressure's on. And Dickey seeing the pressure coming. The defense for Miami lines up with McVeigh, Jones, Brown, and Fagan on the front. Moss, Myra, Fleming, the linebackers. And the deep people are Ellis, Bain, Blades, and Brown. They're looking at third down and about 12. Miami may have jumped. Bob Garman comes in here averaging just over 39 yards. But he places the ball pretty well and has pretty good hang time. Perriman back at the 40. Picks up two blocks on the corner. Back across midfield and thrown down around the Tennessee 48-yard line. 41-yard punt to 12-yard return. And here's the way Miami's offense will go as they're all stiffy looking as they ride the riverboat. Testaverde at quarterback. Six foot five. Warren Williams very fast at halfback. Alonzo Highsmith is the hammer man in that running back core. Michael Irvin is a terrifying speedster at wide receiver. Brian Blade lines up this way. And they're big fellas. Willie Smith, the tight end, the career uh, pass receiver at Miami. Paul Verticelli at 255. Dave Alexa coming off knee surgery, 240. Greg Ricuzzi, he's 265. Paul O'Connor weighs 265. And Ed Davis is in at 260. Tennessee will move their secondary coverage. Ball is handed off to the eye back. Warren Williams. Six-footer, 205-pound Tennessee lines up defensively with Cooper, Scott, Havanek, and Kimbrough. Linebackers, four of them, Jones, Ziegler, and Miller. Jones, in particular, outstanding in that group, along with Ziegler inside. Premier Peppers, White Davis. It's the secondary where Tennessee's hurting. As Tim Brandt told us, the two starting corners injured and out. Second down and one, Testaverde. Rolling around, lost in the backfield on a mix-up, and he is sacked back at the 43. Correct my call, instead of a third and one, it's third down and about four and a half. And the pass thrown down the middle is incomplete. The orange shirt's up there, and in the middle it goes on a short snap to Mel Bratton. Bratton takes off and finds a big hole on the right side and takes it for a first down inside the 20. And here are the Canes now. First down near the 18. Penalty flag down into the end zone. Pass caught, but hang on. Mike Urban pulls it in, but let's see about the flag. It is. It's touchdown Miami. What a beautiful execution of picking up the blitz. Use it and force the issue. All set up, Keith, by the gamble of running on fourth down and four. 
Good place kicker. Got some heat on him, though, and he drills it into the net. Tennessee had a man flash right in front of his eyes, but couldn't quite get to it in time. And so Miami is out to a 7 to nothing lead. From the 45 deep offside because of the offside call on the previous on the play. And that time, Seelig just hooked it very badly. When That's high. He should have a shot at this one, though it takes him four yards back. He's coming. Bad choice. Bad decision. There's Rome. Same play that started the other possession. This time, Tennessee shows only two wideouts. Out of the I formation, pitch goes back to Powell. And Powell gets to the line of scrimmage, and that'll just about do it. Ryan is showing blitz. Dickey checking off. Blitz is on. Whistle stop it. Delay a game. Penetration again by Miami, but Dickey runs out of the pocket, looks for some help, dives for the marker. He'll be close. He's the son of Doug Dickey, the former coach in their athletic wreck. And it's the first first down of the ball game for the balls. The ball swung out to McGee. Tim McGee, the All-American wide receiver up across the 30 and run out of punt formation for a first down. Doug Dickey's son, Darrell, delivers the ball sharply. Blake Scales is the man to the bottom of the picture. It's third down and about a yard and a half for Tennessee, and they're going to throw a third and short go underneath and get the first down. The pass caught by the fullback Howard. Five, five completions and five tries for only 25 yards. He's going to throw it again on a deep drop this time and goes down the sideline with it. And it is, in, not, it is not intercepted. Yelling at his wide receivers. They get it away just in time. That ball is thrown underneath. Again, it's Tolbert Bain. They got McGee and Click Scales toward the bottom of the picture. Dickey's pass is thrown underneath to McGee. McGee's going to have a first down as he comes to the 49-yard line. First down volunteers are up on their own 49. To Miami leading 7-0. First quarter, you've got seven minutes to go in the first period. Daryl Dickey quick to the sidelines for Swanson. Swanson is nailed hard. The ball is down near the Miami 45. It's second down and four. Dickey in trouble. Flips the ball outside to Powell. Powell eludes one and two and picks up a yard. Third down, a long three for Tennessee at the Miami 44. Well, Dickey getting some pressure, gets it away. Clink scales. No, it is Swanson. No pressure. Knuckle balls it downfield. A fair catch. Fair catch. Ball. Miami fair will have the, the ball. Line. Double wide, top of the picture. Tennessee bouncing around. Miami gives the ball to Highsmith. And Highsmith. Mel Bratton has come in. Bratton had the big play on fourth and four. And back goes Pescaverde to throw to the sideline. The pass is good to Willie Smith. And Willie Smith, Miami at their own 24. They lead 7-0. Five minutes to go in the first quarter. Lined up in what might be a nine-man rush. Bacon has ligament damage, we're told. He, I think, is through. The football player at Miami. Testaverde's pass is downfield. Almost intercepted and then almost caught by Warren Williams. Safety blitz. Williams bounces off one of his own men, bounces outside, and fights his way up just over the 25. A lot of leadership to win on the road. Call it third down and eight, just over the 25. Testaverde lofts it into the seat. With a mix-up that time with team. Oh, some pressure on him, and there's a flag. Tennessee just made a terrible mistake. They came flying in, trying to block it. Hour and a half, trying to win the game of the kicking, win the battle of the kicking game. Sullen is just outside the 40, where it's first down Miami, and Testaverde on first down, going to put it up down to the sidelines. Speed against speed, it is incomplete, intended for Irvin. 3.59 to go, first quarter. <laughs> Keith, I think it was the tight end right next to the right tackle. Yeah, Dale, we've had some flags flying. It's second down and 15 now as Miami comes back to the 35. Ball goes to Williams. Williams, a great change of pace. And he, he his teammates really believe it. Third and nine. 
He's got some people to help him. He throws it underneath to Bratton and uh, rather get the ball. But we yeah, have a distance from uh, third down and 25. And back he goes. All day. Now runs out of time. He's thrown down. Back on the 11 yard line. Field position out of this now. Fagel steps quickly out of the end zone. Hits a kick that's going to come down to Kramer at the 46 of Tennessee. Dances his way back into Miami territory and goes down at the Hurricanes 41 yard line. Keith Davis is the eye back now from the 41 of Miami and he's got it. Keith Davis, a freshman, bolting down. Davis again. Cuts it back. And he is hammered down right at the line of scrimmage. Third down and three now. Dickey, a little quick pop to the sidelines. Good for the first down at the Miami 29-yard line. Davis and Howard in the backfield. Zipped by Dickey. Caught inside the 10 by Tim McGee. It's first down and goal volunteers at the Miami 7-yard line. Davis to about the six. First quarter is over. Tennessee is threatening as Miami leads seven to nothing. That's where Daryl Dickey took over. It's second down and goal from the six-yard line. Pressure's on. Dickey drops away. Man all alone. Touchdown. Quarter. The Tennessee Volunteers with Dickey mobile rolling out. Now Tennessee uh, lugging back, fighting back, and they pulled even at seven. J.C. Penny is the deep man for Miami, and he's a yard deep in the end zone, and he's coming. Penalty flags all over the field as Penny comes out to about the 23. It's holding on this particular one, but it's very difficult. First and ten. Smith is back in the backfield and he's got it. Alonzo Highsmith picked up six, second down and four. It's Alonzo again with the ball and he turns the corner, puts the helmet down and rattles right into Andre Kramer. Here we are tied at 7-7 with Miami, Penn State, Oklahoma all laying claim possibly to a national championship. Ball is given away to Darrell Oliver with a very sore back. Harriman and Brown, the wide receivers, and on second down, Testaverde throws it underneath. The ball caught by Perriman. He's knocked down up around the 33-yard line. It's third down and four. Back goes Benny. Underneath. Broken up. Pass intended for Smith. Ball is up on the 37. Going on first down, backside pressure gets his pass away. It's caught for a first down. With 12 and a half minutes to go in the first half. He's checking off. Changing the play. Tennessee trying to blitz it. Goes to Alonzo Highsmith outside. Run down at the line of scrimmage. Is that ball alive? Non-contact foul on the offense. First down and 25. And big turnaround here as Tennessee has it first down and 25 at their own 39. And Dickey back to throw. Better hurry. Didn't have time as Dan Stubbs. Now they've got about a quarter of a mile to go as Dickey again drops the throw. Trying to set up a screen. And the ball is slapped away. Third down and 32 for the Volunteers. Miami now with... One, two, three, four, five defensive backs are going to run the ball. Give it to Keith Davis. Davis gets it up over the 40, up to the 42. And the spirit and interpretation of football. There's, there's interpretation of the tip. Get rid of it. This possession is going backwards. Get that. Get rid of that thing. They're still trying to hook up with that uh, screen pass. Get it over here to McGee. And McGee is level. Timmy had no chance. For 18. It's fourth and 45. And they better hurry up and get it out of there. And they do. And it's Perriman back at the 39. And they hem him in and uh, put him down to Paul Horner. Testaverde turned. I think she had some movement over there on the game when Bear was complaining so. 
his team got about seven or eight. This is Oliver, and he's got a problem at the 35. It's second down and 15-19. Nine-man blitz, keep it all up there. And Testaverde's back. He's got him in man, but the pressure's on, and they got him. Back inside the 15. Dale Jones led it with a defensive front like the Tennessee has. They run a draw play with Highsmith carrying on third down and a half a mile, and Alonzo gets that across the 20 near. Duck out of there and get a little feel back here. Kick is to Kramer at the 39. Dodges one, gets a little help. Now the pursuit's going to catch him, and uh, he actually would have been better off if he just put his head down near their own 38-yard line. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. Dickey back to throw, puts the pass, and it is incomplete. <laughs> Second down and 10. Keith Davis. To about the 42. Third down and uh, short six as they go to three wideouts. Miami tees off and Dickey takes off. He's got a chance at his first down. He's got his first down. Well, he's one of two fifth-year seniors that had their patience rewarded this year. The other is Chris White. There's that little lock that passed down the sidelines. Second down and ten for the balls. Dickey back, setting up a screen here that does not produce a whole lot. Third down and seven. Dickey back has time. Pumps it, throws it, and it is incomplete. Tim Asman in the punt. High snap. He's trying to kill it deep, and he's got a dandy chance here. The ball is way up there, and it forces a fair catch ball. And Testaverde sets him and drops the throw. Standing inside his five, winds up and lets her rip. And it is incomplete. Intended for Brian Blade. He's the guy that UCLA victimized in their comeback to get that 26 all tie in the opening game of the season. Testaverde turns, gives to Williams. And Williams is up to about the 16. Third down and six. They'll throw. No pressure. To the sidelines and batted down by Andre Kramer. Shirts up there. They don't go. They peel back. And it's a low line drive kick. Taken by Kramer. And he's still running around. Finally gets back across midfield to the Miami 49. 7-7 seven, seven time. And Dickey hands the ball off. And this is Jeff Powell. And Powell hits his. Or spearing. Face. Here in the right. And it's first down. Ball comes inside the 30. The pitch comes back to Powell, and he cuts it back inside. It is second down and 10. The ball is at the 29 of Miami. Dickey options it down the line to Powell, trying to get outside. Get partway around the corner. <laughs> Third down and six. There goes Powell. This time he's got some daylight. The nine, maybe the eight. Bain. Bain. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's had a heck of a ball game. Here he goes again. Up the middle. Touchdown. Nope, they don't give it to him. One guy has marked the ball. One player, uh, one official has marked the ball short of the goal line. And he will prevail. Yes, he will. Because he's throw, he threw the bean bag long before that ball squirted loose and the celebrating start. Well, I think he will prevail, but he's not going to prevail. It's going to be a touchdown. Here again, young man Powell right here. What a hole. Miami trying to rush the pass and going up. Oh, the I ball see pumps. why the ball fumbled. No way he could have called nope. the ball. He marked it there. See him mark it with a bean bag. by McGee. Tennessee leads it. The extra point line is good. Three minutes and 28 seconds to play in the first half. The Tennessee Volunteers lead the Miami Hurricanes 14 to 7. The Tennessee offense is just picking the Miami defense uh, apart right now. I don't know how long they keep doing it. Penny is three yards deep in the end zone and coming. And not a good decision. Well, Jimmy Johnson is worried right now. First down from the 17. Benny Testaverde back. Sets up a screen. Melvin Button has it. And now a big strong running back is up across the 25. Testaverde might wind up here. He's going to throw. He looks for Irvin. They don't go deep. They go short with it. 
and they hook up for a first down from the 34 first down. There's Blitz and a penalty flag and Williams is still turning and Warren the Miami offense penalties holding offense first down on first down Testaverde deep drop again setting a screen again it's Bratton Bratton wandering around looking for some help and doing a pretty good job of helping himself Miami backs a big Keith as you just mm -hmm. mentioned big and strong and Testaverde back. Three man run. Steps away from the pressure, dances away from some more, throws to Bratton. Bratton steps out of bounds. 115 to play in the first half. Again, that deep drop. Pass is almost intercepted. Oh, my goodness, Kelly Ziegler. Time, Creamer is deep. Short kick, but fair hang time. And Andre with a fair catch call up lead 14 to 7. Both teams have two timeouts remaining. Daryl Dickey back to throw. Steps away from the pressure. You got a holding call coming up against Tennessee. I bet you. Ability to scramble. He's not known for his running. Ability. 14 flags in this first half for 129 yards against the two teams. Davis. Have Big play by Keith Davis, but a penalty flag. A fumble May too, Keith. Wipe it out. Fumble. Ball comes loose. Miami's claiming it. Swanson was all sides. He went in motion and uh, turned up just a little bit. He started possession. First down at the Tennessee 33. And Testaverde trying to cash it in in a hurry. Throws it to the sidelines to Willie Smith. Good. Just now they come to this side, except it's Blades and Irvin. Irvin's short. Ball is batted down at the line of scrimmage. Three and a half to four yards. 41 seconds to the block. Just inside the Tennessee 32. Just to 30 back. Pressure just as he throws. Urban pulls it in. He's got a first down and he's inside the 20 at the 19 where he is thrown down. First down, 31 seconds to go. The ball at the Volunteers 20. And the all out effort on the blitz. The ball is thrown into the end zone for Bretton and knocked away. Incomplete. Second down and 10, Testaverde under pressure in the grass. Down he goes. Ball is rolling around and finally covered. And it's all the way back on the 37-yard line. Third down. Ball is back at the 37. And Testaverde trying to get a little bit of yardage back for a field goal try. Whips one of the sidelines. It's good at the 31. Just optically, visually, it's a little different look to you. Jeff Toretta gets it down. It is short. It was about three yards short. And time has run out. And Tennessee, the Southeastern Conference champions, lead the number two ranked Miami Hurricanes at the halftime, 14 to 7. Tennessee kicks off. J.C. Penny circles under it in the end zone, five yards deep, and he's coming. Don't believe that was a good call because Tennessee has just planted him down on the 10-yard line. And Benny Testaverde hands the ball to Warren Williams, and he runs it out across the 20 to the 21. And Testaverde is trying to check it off and change the play, give it to Alonzo Highsmith, and oh, grabbed his helmet and pulled it back. It could have been a penalty. Now Testaverde goes to the pass on second down and six. Dumps it off to Williams, and Williams picks up a first down, and they're right. Got a first down for him. Again, it's Williams carrying. And this time, remember this possession started back on their own 10. On second down, Testaverde gets the heat and gets sacked. He's down. Ball is on the 31-yard line. The fourth sack by Tennessee. Minus 62 yards. Testaverde's in trouble again. The ball is loose. It is not an incomplete pass. It is covered by number 74 for the moment. I don't know if he's able to keep control of it. Keith, I believe it fell out, and the Tennessee got it. Tennessee's got the ball. 
Rakosi looked like he had it, but it rolled away from him, and now Tennessee trying to catch it in as Gerald Dickey drills it down to the 17-yard line. The ball on the Miami 17. The Volunteers leading 14 to 7, trying to take advantage of the turnover. Ball is given away inside. Running is Jeff Powell. Second down and six. Dickey again goes to Powell, and Powell is nailed for a two-yard loss. It is now, however, third down and eight. And Dickey will throw. Steps up away from the pressure. Now throws. Inside the five. The pass is caught. Good by McGee. First and goal, volunteer. Can a young fifth-year senior upstage a potential Heisman Trophy winner? First they down do. and goal for Tennessee. The ball at the three-yard line. The ball is pitched back. It goes to the big man, Sam Henderson. And people can hear what he's trying to tell them. It's second down and goal. It is Henderson. It is touchdown. The underdog team. Revez, Carlos for the extra point. It's good. Deep Tennessee had three scoring opportunities and they finished what they started. Well, Tennessee's gotten him six times today. And uh, I would imagine uh, they are aware of everything that happened in the Florida State game. Tennessee has run off 21 consecutive points after Miami got the opening touchdown. So many things can happen. Normally, when you start back of your 20, you're standing, and that's the scoring drive. Testaverde from the 10, out of the end zone, setting a screen pass, lobs it up to Alonzo Highsmith. And he gets back to about the line of scrimmage. <laughs> you go to five or six, you're not careful. Second down and nine. Testaverde rolls out to buy some time and looks deep. Flips it downfield and it's in the crowd. Incomplete. It is third down and nine just outside the ten for the Kane. Quarterback draw. Fumble. Tennessee's got it. No, no, they didn't. They got it. They lost it. And Malekna gets it. Eagles to punt. Tennessee should have pretty good field position if Creamer handles it, and he does at the 40. First down for the balls at their 40. Time remaining third quarter, 7-21. Dickey hands the ball off. It goes to Jeff Powell. Powell is gone. Goodbye. Touchdown. football in his senior year a track man transferred from William and Mary has 10 rushes for 98 yards this year oh so there's some testimony to that right there as the kickoff now goes way back in the end zone and this JC Penny's laughing it up with it. that's what Tennessee has done that applies in all things in all things Warren Williams is eaten up at the line of scrimmage also two back goes Testaverde down the middle, underneath, pass is good, and good for a first down. And he's got a pretty good size hill to climb on first down. Testaverde throws to the sidelines. Willie Smith catches under duress for the championship rather than the game you've got to play. Second down, five and a half. William works in there for about three yards. Here it is. Third down and three. They're throwing on it, and it's good for the first down to Willie Smith. They're showing the nine-man blitz, safety blitz. Eleven men within oh, 11 men are up there within five yards of the ball. Testimony is sacked. The ball is loose, and Highsmith covers it for Miami at the 40. The ball back on second down at the 40. Testaverde gets it off, intended for Blades. It is intercepted. Picked off by Terry McDaniel. And Dickey now with an audible call. Hands the ball to the tailback, that is Wilson. Hilton, and Charles buddy. Wilson runs it out to the 23. He told me that Ron's looked one of the brightest young men in coaching he's ever seen. Tennessee, uh, with that penalty, is backed up inside the 10, inside their own nine. Where it's first down. And Dickey shoots one down the middle. It is incomplete. Second down and 20. 
Here comes Wilson. Charles Wilson is it's third down and about 16. Stay with the ground game. Give it to Wilson. And Charles runs it out across the 20. He's out there now. Pressure on. Gets it out. Good kick. Oh, my goodness. You fired him up, Keith. That's <laughs> the best one of the day for anybody. This is Perriman. Down he goes at the 37. Tennessee's defensive people moving around, moving around, moving around. Testaverde drops, looks, drops, throws. Caught. Caught over the middle. And good for a first down at the Volunteers, 42. Since mine is not going into the huddle, you can't call them. Tennessee encroached on the play, but got away with it. Testaverde zips to the sidelines. Perriman again steps out. He's beyond the marker. First down for the teams. They stick it in. They're back in the game. Pressure on Testaverde. Gets it away down the middle, and it is incomplete, and penalty flags all over the place. So it'd be a 15-yard penalty. Miami first down at the Tennessee 16. Testaverde back in a hurry. Pressure on him. He's going to get sacked back on the 22-yard line. 14 out of 22 for Dickey. 100 yards, one TD. 18 out of 29 for Testaverde. Again, pressure's on him. The pass is away, and a penalty flag is thrown again. That's 15 yep. yards and loss of down. Tennessee dropping way back. Way in center field as Testaverde rolls it out and gets sacked one more time. Fred Bennett. Bench just stifling the team. Tail dragger. Fair catch. 11-yard line. Powell is the tailback. Howard is the fullback. Powell has a 60-yard touchdown run, and here he goes into the middle, up to about the 16. We've played three quarters. The Sugar Bowl and ABC Sports Exclusive continues after this message and the word from our local station. And they lead 28 to 7. 15 minutes to play. Miami was an eight-point favorite coming into the ball game. Handed off to Charles Wilson, and he almost loses the handle. Third and two and a half. Dickey, a little pop down the middle. Got a man open, and it's a first down for the Volunteers at midfield. Tim McGee, who else? Up the middle goes William Howard. Made very few plays in this ball game. Here goes the big man again, Howard, and he's got a first down at the Tennessee. Dickey back to throw. Loads it up and lets it go, and it's incomplete, and there's a penalty flag. Pulling the holding and letting passing teams get away with them. You hit on the nail. The Miami defense has not stopped and not rushed Dickey since the first quarter. They'll run it. Well, not much. Second down and 20 for Tennessee with Keith Davis, who's come back into the ball game now. He's been gone a long time. I thought he was laid up and hurt, but there he is. Comes out, however, into a slot position as a receiver. And he turned around, he had a ball. All right, McGee comes back up into a flanker. Dickey lets it fly for clink scales, and it is intercepted. Give him a touchback call. Out of the end zone. Testaverde lets it rip, and he's got Irvin wide open. Coverage broken by Tennessee. Somebody was asleep. Mike's got a first down up around the 47-yard line. You can score a lot of points in 12 minutes. There's a little lob to uh, Irvin, and it uh, goes right through his hand. Second down and 10. Got a wide open for touchdown. Not anymore, not with that kind of pressure, and it was Brian Blades who came across and spoiled. Third down and ten. Underneath, that's Bratton. And they gang tackled him at midfield. Oh, but that's his only chance. No, he's not. Bratton got it on the short snap and takes off. And gets the first down <laughs> at the 40. They're after him, and he ducks out of bounds. In a game like this. Participating on the play by the defense. First down. 
They better get their act together because uh, Miami's sitting down on the 25-yard line. Testaverde back to throw. 10 minutes and 25 seconds to play. That shot's in the end zone. There's a penalty flag against Tennessee. It's interference. Seven. Pass interference. Half Defense. The, half the distance. First down. To the goal, Keith. Too late now. Ball snapped. Testaverde shoots it into the end zone. Oh, it's intercepted. Intercepted by Darren Miller, the man with the bruised right hand. Testaverde tried to take a little off the ball. You better talk to everybody you can talk to upstairs right now, Vinny, because time's running out. Dickey hands the ball off to Charles Wilson, and Wilson can't get much out of it, if anything. Second down and ten. Penalty yard. Miami has 100, so they got 224 combined. Second down and about 15, and carrying the ball is Jim Miller. Third down. Ten. Dickey hands it inside to William Howard this time. Catch the punt. They're going after him, but he gets it out, and it's not a bad kick, but it's Perryman fielding on the run and quickly to the sidelines and out of bounds. Boy, there's a good one. About as good as I ever saw. Jim Kelly. Going back to the quarterback. Oliver throws back to Testaverde, and now Testaverde uh, will go out of bounds and pick up on the play. The quarterback is at the mercy of his blockers. Yep. Lofted to Irvin. Intercepted by Chris White. His tenth of the year. It's a foot race to the corner. He has company. He's out of bounds. Inside the five. And Tennessee right here is trying for the door slammer. First and goal just inside the five. It's Henderson. And oh, marvelous throw. Henderson again. Oh boy, there's the bowl game is like two extra weeks of spring training. It is. Good. Fellow named Bryant. Yep. Helps the team down. The this is Wilson. Touchdown. and four touchdowns on the ground for the volunteers the kick by Revez is good for the point and with exactly six minutes to play in the game it's 35 7 Tennessee and good things happen to you that's all the case of Tennessee since that first possession JC Penny from the four oh look at this across the 40 and out to the 44 in the passing offense. 11 out of 16 for the season. Handoff goes to Darrell Oliver. And Oliver, working with a sore back, does some nifty running for the might have called it. That goes to Retta. This is a good quarterback. They stuffed right there by big old Richard Cooper. Oh, sir. And so outstanding. They, were, no they weren't even suspect. No, sir. They weren't even suspect. Uh -uh. This is Oliver, fumbling, but getting it back. He got a good bounce. He's got a first down at about the Tennessee 43. He's hired him, and he's had a sensational season. Coretta's got it in the air, and it's intercepted. And ball squirts loose in the end zone. The balls came up with it and stuck it in the end zone. And since then, it's, I'll give you the rest of it in a moment. Back goes Coretta to throw the ball, and it is caught by Perryman on the sidelines. 35-7. to seven. Coretta again throwing on third down and three and a half to the sidelines. Bounces in front of Perriman. But after that first touchdown, I looked at you and said it's going to be a blowout. I pull it back. Coretta, quick pop. Urban catches first down Miami. Just a little bit out of sync. Keep let me co keep continuing on that. See what happens. Incomplete pass. <laughs> Second down and ten. Coretta throws it up. And has it promptly intercepted by Charles Davis. And Charles does a hook slide at the 31. Personal foul. Right. That's frustration. Frustration is his uh, brother, big brother Joe. Get over the weekend. First down for Tennessee uh, outside the 45. And the Volunteers now with Jeff Francis in at quarterback. 
Young quarterback, Dickey graduating, Tony Robinson graduating. Inside goes William Howard again with the ball, and he'll be short of his first down. Best coaches that the game has in college. On third down and four, Francis hands the ball, this time to Charles Wilson. Tennessee's only got ten players. They got his first down. They gave him the... <laughs> that's right, they do. But in this particular instance, uh, uh, numbers don't give you the full story. It's third down and three right here on this snap. And Tennessee stays on the ground, and once again, I think they're going to have the first down. As Miami has such great talent, but they just didn't execute for that. Well, you had several surprises. You had Georgia Tech playing without its starting halfback. Comes every year. Does. You can chart it, examine it. This is Hawkins again carrying, and he picks up a first down this time for Tennessee, and that'll do it. The 52nd Sugar Bowl Classic is history. The Volunteers of Tennessee upset the Hurricanes of Miami. They thrashed them by a final score of 35 to 7. Under the dome in New Orleans, Louisiana.